Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Imori, and we're learning Japanese grammar uh, for JLPT. And we're going to continue the story. Last time we left off, uh, we were searching for Aubrey's stuffed animal toy. So let's go ahead and find that, shall we? Okay, so we have Nui Gurumi o Teniretta. So you got the stuffed animal toy. So remember, we have Nui Gurumi, that's stuffed animal, o, object marking parallel, and then te ni iretta. So that's basically, uh, you're obtaining something in your hand. So it entered your hand, all right? Very good. Whoopsie. So, sore. <laughs> so, she's just saying that, that, Moshikashite, which is like possibly, could it be? <laughs> Maybe? Okay, so we have Obri wa Nui Gurumi. So Obri, and then our object is the stuffed animal, Tori Taishita. So that's to be recovered, or in this case, Taishita was recovered. So, Tori Taishita recovered. So, Aubrey recovered her stuffed animal. Hooray! Or stuffed toy. Ne, Keru kun, mitte. So, hey, Keru, look, look. And then here we have Watashi no Nuigurumi ga. So, my stuffed animal. Mudo. So, madote is, or madoru, uh, is the stem, is to return. And then, kita, so kuru, but in the past tense form. So, together, it just means uh, returned essentially to the speaker. So, in this case, I'll read my stuffed animal returned. Hooray! <laughs> And then yo for emphasis. Nah, nani? <laughs> what? Dore, doko de mitsuketan da yo. So, that, so that, doko de, so, uh, where, so he's basically saying where, and then de is just, uh, Marking that that place. Mitsuketan da yo. So mitsukeru normally uh, is to find, right? So mitsuketa is like found. Where did you find that thing? And then this n mm, da is like an explanation. So he's demanding an explanation by adding this n da and then yo for emphasis. So doko de. So where did you find that? <laughs> so remember, we have kure, kureta, and then again, this is another good example of uh, using explanation when you have that n. So that tanda. So she's explaining with that n. And I'll put more notes in uh, the text here. But anyway, we have Omori Tun. So Omori, subject marking. Mitsukete kure tanda. Kure tanda. So mitsukete. So found kure tanda. And then we have that kure. So it's just again adding emphasis to uh, basically helping find is what's going on here. So Omori helped me find is kind of what that's saying with that kuru, that kuretanda yo, or sorry, kuretanda. So she's explaining that Omori helped her find it. Keru kun to to te honto no tomodachi ga irunda yo ne watashi. Okay, so this is actually kind of a funny line here. So we have Kerukun to, so, uh, Kel, 
and then Chidate. So Chidate is like, normally it's uh, like Chidao is like Ron, but Chidate is like unlike. So it's like uh, a clause here. So unlike Kel, Chidate. Honto, so truly or real. No Tomodachi, Tomodachi friend. Ga, so real friend. So Honto no tono, Tomodachi. Irun da yo ne. So iru is basically there is or there exists. N da yo. So again, an explanation kind of uh, phrasing there. And then yo emphasis and ne like right. Da yo ne. Watashi. So this watashi is kind of a weird, un normally unnatural placement, like formal speech, but here it's just friends, so it's fine. But essentially what she's saying is, unlike Kel, uh, I have a real friend. <laughs> so unlike Kel, honto no tomodachi ga irun da yo ne. So I have a real friend, watashi, watashi. Okay, so this is a very tough one here. Uh, so we have G, Go, G, Toku, Dana. Okay, so that is G, Go, G, Toku, Dana. And that means pain for one's mistakes or getting one's just desserts, as we like to say it uh, in English. So. Jadin one's just desserts, Keru. So basically you're saying, eh, you got your just desserts, huh? Alright. Iji waru wa yoku nayo. So he isn't using the kanji here, but we know that iji waru is being mean, right? And then wa, subject marking particle, yoku, often, yoku is often. Nayo. So basically, uh, not often, emphasis yo. So don't be mean so often, is essentially what he's saying. Okay, and then we have demo, uh, but Aubrey ga. So, but Aubrey, sakini, first. So sakini is like first or before. Uh, so Aubrey, he's basically saying, but Aubrey did it first, essentially, in a casual way. Okay, so this is quite a lot, so let's break it down here. So we have Aitsuga, uh, basically saying like, ah, that person, Aitsu. It's kind of rough to use Aitsu. It's like saying that guy or that girl, uh, that person, Aitsu. Ga saki ni, uh, first or before. Ore no hazutashi, so ore is myself. Uh, or my, in this case, because it's possess possessive by that no. Hazukashi, so embarrassing. Toko ni, uh, toko ni is like a place, right? So toko ni, uh, so embarrassing place, my embarrassing place. And then we have hokuro ga. Um, hokuro is mole, I believe. Hokuro ga arute. Uh, so, arute, so there is a mole, embarrassing place, first, uh, that person, or in this case, Aubrey. So, essentially, he's saying in a broken way, uh, without saying it, she said there is a mole in my embarrassing place, <laughs> first. So, baka is like, made a fool of me, and made a fool of me. Sono hokuro. <laughs> so that hokuro mole. Doko ni arunda kene. So where doko ni arunda kene. Um, aru is there is. And then ndake is like asking for an explanation. So where is this? Ne? Hey, where is it? <laughs> Aubrey. 
Watata yo, so I know. She's just saying watata, which is I understand, or I know. Yo, for emphasis. Alright. Okay, and then Hiro says, Omori, um, itken. So it's like, one thing or one matter. Itken. And then we have, Ratu Chatu. Rat Chatu. Rat Chatu. Uh, which is, to settle, or to come to a conclusion. So, one uh, thing has come, this thing essentially, this one thing has been settled. Nitai, it seems, it seems, or it appears, de yokata. So, uh, yokata, I'm glad, and then de is just like uh, marking this entire particle here. So I'm glad this matter essentially seems to have been settled, um, is what he's saying. So I'm glad things appear to have settled down. Ano futari. So those two. Uh, itsumo always. Butsutate tene. Butsutate tene. Uh, basically, they don't get along, they always fight. Kind of like saying bumping heads, I guess. Um, Butsukatte, Dene. And he's like, just like, ugh, right? Those two are always fighting, or they are always bumping heads. Okay, and then... Hiro says, Sore de sa. Uh, Sore de is like, anyway, well, uh, anyhow. Sa is like, just using for emphasis here. It's like saying, and anyways, um, mari to bezuru. So, uh, mari and basil ga, uh, so these are two characters we haven't met yet. Asobi, so asobu is to play, but in this case we have asobi and then ba. So asobi ba, de. So this is playground. So this ba, this kanji right here is place. So uh, play place essentially. So asobi ba, so playground. De, at the playground. Picnic du, so picnic, picnic du. Picnic du shinai kate. Uh, so basically to do a picnic or to have a picnic. Saso de kuretanda, so invited. Uh, they invited me, in this case, Hiro, uh, to have a picnic with them. I ni, I is to meet, I ni ikanai. Uh, so, ikanai, this kind of like native, again, question, is like asking, uh, how about we go? Shall we go? Shall we go meet them, to meet them? And I can say, hi, yes. Yes, we shall. Sadeja. Well then, Mina, everyone. Marito Bezuru ni to Maria. Ma, sorry, Mari and Basil. I ni iko. So iko, a uh, very easy expression here is let's go. So when we have that iko, let's go. Uh, you can say iki masho iko. Those are all fine. I ni to meet Basil and Mary. Now maybe the snake will give me something? Fish. Nani time out yet? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fish. Aomori. Dekakeru. No. Are you going out? Dekake is leaving. Or going out. Dekakeru. Are you leaving? Fish. Kore. Kyo no okozukai. Uh, so this... Today, no, uh, no is possessive. Okodzukai. Uh, so, okodzukai, uh, o is just an honorific to attach to certain things like okane for money. In this case, okodzukai. So, okodzukai is pocket allowance or uh, pocket money. So, your allowance. So, this is today's allowance. Hooray! 
Okay, so we... 50 asari. So, goju asari o. So, asari is clams. So, that's like the currency in this game. Teni iretta. So, we got, we received uh, 50 clams. Hooray! Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, so it's Hugh. Chuki. Uh, Chuki is air. Ume. That's a big test there, by the way. Uh, Ume is delicious. <laughs> so that's a nice, uh, really good expression to know if you want to uh, compliment someone's cookie for something or comment on food. So, Koki. Kuki. Uh, air. Ume. Delicious air. Ah, refreshing air. Um, I've paused the game so it doesn't wave around the text as much because this is kind of hard to see. So we have Shisenda, Shisenda, Shisenda. Uh, that is nat nature, or uh, can also mean natural if you uh, attach a neat to it naturally. But in this case, Shisenda. Uh, so nature, di. it's natural. I like it. Nja ikoza ze. Ikoze, um, just a really kind of like casual way of saying, well then, Iko, let's go. Zet for emphasis. <laughs> Ikoze. Ah, choto, matte, <laughs> choto matte. Uh, wait a bit. Choto matte is a really nice term, if you don't know that one already. Wait, wait a bit. Shoto tetsudatte. Uh, so, need a bit of help. Or help me a bit. She's telling them with that de. Uh, so then we have hikakachatta. <laughs> so, a casual way uh, in past tense here. Um, hi, uh, this, this first part here, this kanji, is to catch or to get caught here. So, hikata shatta is a casual way of saying I got caught or I am caught. So, onedai shite kuretara. So, tara is if if you do this. So, if you if you do please or if essentially if you say please. Um, Tetsudai naku mo nai kedo. Then I will help you. So, tetsudai is help nakumo nai kedo. I think that's like only then I will help you. Um, so that tara and kedo is like even if or if you do this then I'll do that kind of situation. Um, so if you say please then I will help you. So it's a good kind of sentence structure there. Tetsudai nakumo nai kedo. Okay, so she's saying fuzakete uh, nai de. So fuzakete is essentially uh, silly. And then nai, don't be silly de. Fuzake nai de, so don't be silly. Hayaku, hurry. Koyo, so come quickly. Hayaku koi is like uh, come quickly. Your emphasis, Kenu. Hurry up, Kel. Come here. Stop, stop messing around. Ah, hi. What karimashita? Yes, I understand. <laughs> it's interesting that they used a uh, uh, katakana here for a little emphasis. Like he's being sassy about it. Okay, so we have. Fun. Fun. <laughs> it's like hmm. And then teruda, uh, tell. Mota mota is like slowly. Shiteru kara. So kara is in this case because you can think of it as because you were doing it slowly. You were doing slowly. Kel was doing slowly. Jikan, so time. Kakata. Uh, kakata can be used 
with like time, it's like spending time in this case, or taking time. So took some time, Jun. And then Jun is like, didn't you, or don't you think, or right? Like a little bit of an emphasis there, a casual way of saying it. So it, it took so long, it took this time because you were doing it so slowly. Korewa, Korewa, this, this. Okay, so then he says, Taihen, Moshi, wa, ye, gozaimasen deshita. So, Taihen, Moshi, wa, ye, gozaimasen deshita. That's a mouthful for even me, still. <laughs> uh, which generally means that it's very respectful, and in this case it is. So this is a way of saying, I'm very terribly sorry. Uh, so I'm very terribly sorry about this. Is a very formal way, so... Taihen moshi wake gozaimasen deshita. Okay? So if you ever need to uh, apologize to your boss or anything, you can say this phrase. All right, let's continue on. We have a nice little forest. Hooray. 